You've just come back from a shoot and now it's time to edit. So let's look at the fastest way that you can import your footage and stay organized so you can spend more time making a creative edit. Sound good? So before we start importing in Premiere Pro, what we want to do is head over to the project panel here, go down to the folder icon here where it says new bin and we're going to make up five new folders. One for footage, audio, VFX, graphics and sequences. Now we can start importing our footage. There's three ways of doing this. We can go to file and then import. We can double click the middle of the project panel or we can press control I. Next, we're going to find our footage and we can select individual clips and then push open. Or we can select entire folders and push open. There's no limit to what you can import into Premiere Pro. Uh, with the exception of a few things like PDFs and Illustrator files, but you can even import JPEGs, PNGs, uh, transparent uh, PNGs with transparent backgrounds. You can import uh, Photoshop files, and you can either import that as a single image, or you can break that down into image layers, which is how I used to uh, animate uh, graphics and visual, uh, like my motion graphics in the past. I would make it all in Photoshop, import into Premiere Pro, and then animate it that way. If you select an entire folder to import, you can then move that folder into other folders and create a hierarchy and stack these folders within other folders. Makes it a lot easier if you just select the folder you want to import into, then import your footage. Now when we click on the folder, you can see that the folder is just imported in here. And we can create more folders for the footage that might break down to different locations to help it easier to find the footage you're looking for. Or maybe you're doing a narrative, you can break it down by scene. When you start building sequences into your timeline, your sequences will appear within that footage folder. When I've started creating a sequence, what I like to do is select that sequence, cut it, and move it back into the sequences folder. This makes it easier for me to find a sequence if I accidentally close it, or if I'm nesting sequences, I can keep it all in one place and it's not going to get confused with my footage. Make sure you check out this playlist here. It's full with other uh, things you might not know about Premiere Pro and a few frequently asked questions that might help you become a quicker and faster editor because if we can make you a faster editor, then you can spend more time making creative videos.